Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and the time has come for me to share my weekly recap. Uh, last week I shared with you a short-term trading plan on the uh, USD Swiss franc currency pair and uh, the main idea behind the plan was to sell the pair. Uh, at first everything went good, uh, we managed to open a trade uh, unfortunately, the price didn't reach our uh, take profit level and quickly retraced back up, hitting our stop loss just today. Uh, here we made uh, one major mistake, uh, which I'm going to talk about in this video, uh, so we get a lesson from it and uh, learn from that. As usual, in this video, we are going to look first at the idea behind the plan uh, to see how it developed uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the life sign I shared with you and last but not least we are going to cover my future predictions regarding the pair let's get started uh, this is the plan itself uh, posted on trading view you can see that uh, here we had a very strong daily resistance area and right down here is our daily support area where our target was. As you can see the price was in a very very strong uptrend for quite a while so <clears throat> it seems here that uh, the buying pressure was getting exhausted. You can see how the price started to consolidate in this uh, sort of a square formation and also form this triangle. Uh, so the idea behind the plan was to either wait for a break of the uh, bottom line of this triangle and the bottom uh, line and the bottom actually of this uh, square formation or if uh, the top was broken to wait for the pair to reach this daily resistance area and from there to look for sell opportunities. Let's see how the plan itself developed. This is the H4 uh, time frame and we took our trade on the H1. As you can see, uh, shortly after I posted the trading plan, uh, we saw a break, a, a, a short retracement and then a new wave down. Then we had another wave up and a new wave down uh, which went close but quite not there to our take profit and so far the price has uh, returned back to these uh, levels here. Now I'll turn on the uh, life chart. This is the H1 time frame. I just want to discuss in a few words um, my trade. Uh, first of all, uh, the entry was on this H1 candle, uh, which actually uh, showed that the price is ready to move down. Uh, it quickly escaped from this uh, square formation and broke this previous bottom here. Uh, so my expectations were from here for us to continue down. Uh, the stop loss was placed right above those tops. Uh, it was a more uh, riskier approach with the stop loss. Uh, the more safer ap approach would be to place the stop loss over here. Nevertheless, uh, the trade started good. As you can see, although after the entry it made a short uh, correction here, it went further down after that uh, and then we had a um, sort of an uptrend here which uh, reached close to our stop loss and then a new wave down which actually made uh, a new bottom. Sorry. Unfortunately, as you can see here, this is the last bottom which was broken on this wave down. Uh, unfortunately, price failed to uh, remain below it and continue further down reaching our take profit level over here and quickly retraced up and from that point it has been in an uptrend which today uh, finally reached our stop loss and hit it right here. Uh, as I said in the beginning of the video, we made one major mistake here and that was in the trade management itself. Uh, after the entry here and the wave down, uh, we should have been more careful and uh, looked for a possible closing of the position. 
and one of those spots was actually over here on this candle. Here it was good to close around 60 to 70 percent of the position to bring in some profits, although uh, small profits, but still some profits and put the stop loss at break even, uh, which was going to be hit obviously just a little bit later over here. But still, uh, this trade was going to be profitable for us, although not uh, that huge profit, but still some good profit. Then we could have looked for more ent uh, entry possibilities. Nevertheless, if you miss this one, uh, actually the market gave you a second chance to close uh, your position and it was on this candle here. As you can see, after making a new bottom, uh, the price quickly retraced above it, then again below it, and then again above it, forming a higher high and higher low. Although very small, but still higher high and higher low seems to be uh, formed here. So it was good to close 60-70% of the position here, uh, leave the rest floating with a stop loss of break even again, which uh, would have been hit somewhere here. Uh, but we could have made uh, this very nice profit here. Uh, I missed to update you on that. Uh, I was more focused on other trading uh, pairs and our subscribers, uh, for which I apologize, but this is a mistake to learn for. Uh, for those of you who managed to close in some of the profits, uh, good job. It, uh, it is not always good to wait for the price to reach your take profit. Uh, sometimes you uh, get the confirmation signal to close some percentage of the position or the whole position even earlier. So this is uh, something regarding uh, trade management and you should uh, study more about it. Uh, and of course, you learn a lot of lessons by losing, unfortunately. Never mind, even though with that loss, we are still in a healthy profit from the uh, trading plan on the Great British Pound uh, US dollar, uh, where we still have 30% uh, of the position open, uh, which is currently giving close to five to one. Uh, so that's great. Uh, now regarding my future predictions on this pair, uh, personally, this pair is a little bit tough to trade for me, uh, very uh, strong moves uh, in different directions, uh, but still I believe there are some good opportunities. In this case, uh, if we expand this uh, square, you can see that the price is still hanging below these uh, last stops here. So uh, one of the scenarios would be for the price to reach somewhere here and from there to make a new wave down, probably to here or even to the daily support. So you can wait and look for uh, possible entries somewhere here at the top of, on, uh, on these tops. Or of course, uh, there is a chance for those tops to be broken in that case, I would expect for the price to make a slight correction here and then a new wave up to the daily resistance. So you can look again for buy opportunities after the corrections have, has finished and to uh, try and trade the pair short term, make some profits here. Uh, when the price reaches the daily resistance or the daily support that would be a good spot to open uh, more long-term trades and to try and trade a possible uh, huge move either down from this daily resistance to this daily support or vice versa from this uh, daily support to this daily resistance of course this won't happen in a straight line but uh, you will most likely have a lot of opportunities to enter and to make some profits and uh, leave the rest of your positions around 20 to 30 percent floating until uh, this whole move is finished and close everything on the top or the bottom of course uh, so that would give you some uh, great opportunities great profits uh, I will try to implement this uh, way of trading if we reach um, 
either the daily resistance area or the daily support in the following weeks. So I'll continue monitoring this pair and continue sharing live signals uh, on this trading plan. If you haven't uh, joined our Telegram channel where I share and uh, my colleagues of course share uh, their live signals, uh, you get notified on your phone. Uh, so it's quite easier for you to just open the platform and open the trade. Thank you very much. This is all regarding this weekly recap. My new trading plan is out. Check it out. Uh, it already made uh, a good move where you could have uh, made some profits, but we'll still uh, look for opportunities there as well. Thank you very much. And our team wishes you a good and profitable week.